Hey everybody, Solomon here with another edition of Digital Marketing FAQs. But today's question is, what is more important, SEO or social media marketing? Right. This is a pretty good question, common question we get from folks. They're kind of confused. Hey, should, I have so much money, should I invest into SEO? That seems like a good idea. It seems to be giving results to people I know. But social media, that's easy. You know, it's Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and all those things. Should I put my money there or here? See, the answer is really, it's, it, it's neither, right? It, you can do both, that's one way to do it. You can do just SEO, you can do, the way that you need to think is what is the real goal of the, the campaign, right? Are you trying to get uh, long-term sales and, and rank for particular keywords? And that's gonna give you different results and that might be SEO. Are you trying to build brand awareness, right? And to get people to know your brand, get engaged audience, and then perhaps build that up organically and then you can later on sell them stuff, right? Run Facebook ad against people that like uh, your page and just really organically do it and just get engagement and get maybe user generated content. That would be something that you would wanna be doing with social media. Uh, in many cases, you might wanna do you know, ads as well as organic SEO as well as social media all at the same time because if you're really trying to be aggressive and grow quickly, you're, you're gonna need to use this and more. So uh, if you're in a limited, tight budget, right, you're just getting started, start with social media. It might be the thing that you can do internally without having a lot of external resources, shooting your own pictures and videos, whatever it might be, going out there, going on Facebook Live, just letting the whole world know you exist, send an email blast, send so people to follow you on Facebook. And when you're getting a little bit more advanced and now you wanna have a long-term strategy and really create content, on a regular basis and start to get rankings, right? To get some organic traffic, um, doing competitive analysis and doing all sorts of stuff to get, you know, some kind of a, 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 a long-term strategy from just not having, not just having a social media presence, but to really grow organically from an organic search perspective. Keyword rankings, blog posts, looking at other websites that are relevant to you and getting links from it. That's gonna take a lot of effort. It might even require external resources. That's where an SEO strategy comes in. And the metrics that you use to measure SEO is very different than metrics that you use to, um, uh, to measure social media. So it's different thinking, different mentality for each of them. You're going to, we have different people working on these things. So at the end of the day, what you really wanna know, what, what you wanna do is what is going to be best for your business today with the budget that you have, with the resources that you have, and what are you looking to do in six months, 12 months, 18 months maybe, and that would be your answer. Um, so I hope this video has been useful. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, ask us more questions. We'll love to answer it, and we'll see you next time.